Howdy ho, it is bank holiday Monday today, so you know what that means. Time to bake brownies and have a lazy day. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm not just baking any old brownies. I want to make like a really delicious, really gooey, fudgy brownie. So I'm actually going to search online for a good brownie recipe because whilst my brownie recipe, which I usually make, is quite good, like I want to take it to the next level and make it even more chocolatier and more... Um, gooey. So that's what I'm doing today, so yeah. Two hours later. Okay, so I've managed to find a fudgy brownie recipe right now. So I'm gonna make the brownie recipe off that video, um, which I finally managed to find after like five minutes with this person going on about his life, like how he likes to have fudgy brownies and the whole history of his life. Like, does anyone else hate it when like you go on like a baking website or try and find a recipe somewhere on some websites and it literally like has a full page story about this baker's life and it doesn't even show like the recipe, it just like hats on and on and on about the baker's like life and how the dad owned a bakery and made bread every day just to earn an income. I mean listen, no, nothing against dads having bakeries, like if your dad has a bakery and it's successful, then good on him. But do we need a whole like 10 minute tangent about that? Probably no, like I just wanna get into the whole recipe. That's the one thing I hate about looking online for recipes. Like sometimes there are some good websites where it'll give you actual recipes, but other websites it's just like nothing but a 10 minute tangent about, you know, the lives and all that like. And with all due respect, I don't want to get into your life, like I'm not interested about that, like I'm more interested about food right now, <laughs> so yeah, but I have found a recipe so I'm going to do that. Baking had to be disrupted because you needed two eggs and I've got no eggs in so I'm going through shopping to get the eggs and stuff and I don't want to because of the bank holiday crowds. <laughs> this is going to be very great um, but I'm going to go anyway. I'm going to get some more things as well so I'm going to try and make it worthwhile to go shopping so I need like cleaning spray and stuff while I'm there as well so I'm going to get that so not to worry because I'm going to make this whole emergency shopping trip worth it. I'm going to get all the things I need, like I'm going to get more chocolate and more things to make this thing taste nicer, so yeah. Got the goods, let's resume shall we? Uh, okay, so I just put the brownies in the oven now and oh my god, I got like brown stains this white t-shirt, so... Um, that's pretty cool well. But at least the brownies when you're in now, they need to cook now until I think about 10 minutes or 50 minutes-ish. But for now though, I'm just gonna sit and chill out really. Um, I just can't bother to do anything else. I need to like film, film a video, but I don't know what to film. Neither am I bothered either. Um, I'll try and get it done tonight or today even. My golly, like today's just been kind of a tiring day for some reason. So I think a coffee is in order, which by the way, I actually got a new caramel syrup um, today. So I got this like caramel syrup today for Morrison's. And it looks like this, like it's like a caramel flavoured syrup. Like I've been trying to find like creative ways to make coffee from home instead of like going to places such like Costa or Starbucks and stuff. Like not that the coffees are bad, like I actually love the coffees, but sometimes they're just so damn expensive, so Obviously, with the whole cost of living thing, it's better to save money. So I thought, oh, well, if I can make the same coffees at home, then I may as well. So I got the caramel syrup, which I usually ask for. So I'm going to make a whipped coffee, but make it with the caramel syrup. Okay, so yes, I know this is a Christmas hot chocolate thing, but there's no other thing 
in the house. Do it like this, so put it on like that. And then you add your milk into there. Like so. Then you put your whipped coffee in there. Then give it a little stir. Mmm. You can definitely taste the caramel on this thing. Oh my god, why did I not think of this before? Like this tastes honestly so good. Oh my god, yes, I'm definitely gonna be using this caramel thing more often. So yeah, this thing costs around about two pounds from Morrison's. Um so it's like loads, like I think it's like hazelnut flavour, there's caramel obviously. There's all kinds of flavours, so you just need to take a pick which ones you like. And then also, in other news, I've got the brownies, so here's what they look like. So I just need to wait for these to cool now, and then that will also be done as well, so quite a good day for food and drink if you ask me. Okay, so I'm out and about now, so I decided to bring myself out on a walk because um, I have not been out at all today, but I've really been to the store and that's it so I thought oh well I'll try and get myself out because I think I need it because um, I've been kind of feeling tired and stuff all day really so uh, for a nice little walk around the woods would be nice so yeah that's what I'm doing right now so that's it really <laughs> I mean look at the views though like this is literally gorgeous like I'm not even kidding like we have some gorgeous like views I know, God, why am I so out of breath <laughs> like trying to walk? I mean, this goes to show that I really need to go back to the gym because if I'm out of breath by just walking, then I think someone needs to go back to the gym because, yeah. Okay, so I'm back now. So, I'm oh God, okay, I'm so tired. So, I need to um, clean my laundry, like put my laundry away and stuff, which looks like this currently at the moment. So... I have a lot from that, so I need to put all that away and then clean my room and then yeah, but I just don't want to do it because I'm so tired. Can you tell by his like, eyes? Okay, so I don't have an outro to film the outro with, wow, but for some reason I lost it, so now I'm going to have to film another outro using um, a few days later, so yeah, I hope you guys liked watching this little vlog, there's some more vlogs coming very soon, but um, I guess this vlog was kind of enjoyable because I made brownies, made some coffee, um, did all the things, so what more could you ask from a vlog, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys whenever I see you, and that's it. I'm very tired. Okay, bye.